Ciao, YouTube. I've been nominated to convince a total war shaking two battles that I had. My army is composed by two units of bow warrior monks, one unit of matchlock warrior monks. Then I got some sword troops. I got uh, one, two, three units. Only three units. Yeah, three units of long sword Shigeru. And two units of Yari cavalry. Well, my opponent got uh, one unit of Yari Simurai. Uh, make it two, make it three. Then he got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six units of Naginata Samurai and four units of Machiloka Shigaru. Oh, and here I got, uh, a, I actually got a fourth unit of Long Sword Ashigaru, Ashigaru, sorry, which I am sending to capture that Sword Dojo. Kind of a kind of a gamble because I have few un melee units and I'm using one of them to capture key building, but still. So I'm positioning my long range archers here. My opponent has no long range troops. He only got four units of crappy Magilox Ashigaru, which can be very effective when they come into range, but uh, the problem is they have a kind of a short range. And you also get these pre wheel colors, which are giving me a headache right now. <laughs> All that crazy green and uh, green and blue is not exactly a good combination, in my opinion, but who am to criticize my opponent? Uh, so now I am shooting some uh, some arrows at my opponent's matchlocks, or running up the hill trying to to get into range. I'm also moving my my own matchlocks, which are kind of good here. And uh, well, this matchlocks took some pretty heavy losses already. And here I'm getting some shots at these matchlocks, as you can see, their morale is wavering already because they met uh, guys who are more badass than them. And I don't know what to Oh yeah, now we are running. And so now he's sending his spears against my cap. And uh, I'm sending in my melee units now. And I'm gonna retreat my, my match looks, at least I hope so. Am I gonna retreat or am I not? Looks like I'm not. Looks like I am, finally. Okay, I get to stop recording for a few seconds. Now, big melee is gonna start. My opponent made a pretty mis big mistake by moving his match looks here. So I can get a downhill charge with my cab and basically butcher them. And uh, I, I also try to get some uh, some Emerald Elven Strike here against these guys. Luckily, my opponent has no sword troops. And uh, here I cut a gift this building, but I forgot to move these guys. Pretty bad mistake. And as you can see, my opponent's match looks like I'm getting slaughtered. I'm also using my, my archers to shoot at this general. Trying to take him down, I also sent in my my cavalry. I'm actually probably killing more of my men than than, than of his. In fact, yeah, probably am. Still, I'm using a standard fight ability here, and thanks to that, and the fact that my opponent has only spear troops, the melee is going into my favor, despite uh, my melee units being composed of Ashigaru only. And of course, getting some shots with my match looks uh, always helps. And getting some hammer and elbow strikes helps as well. So basically I destroyed my opponent's uh, unit, despite having one unit less. Because again, my opponent thought, uh, well I need no cavalry, I just, I, just can, I just can bring lots of spears and lots of matchlocks, and his cavalry is not going to be able to touch me. Well of course this wasn't the case. <laughs> uh, lots of people really don't realize the power of cavalry in this game. In fact, cavalry is probably kind of overpowered in this game, it should really reduce its effectiveness. Now, I'm not really saying that, you know, you, mm, you can't win with no cavalry. Probably you can't win in big fights with no cavalry, and plus you cannot definitely win if you just pretend to, you know, win battles just by forsaking cavalry, and uh, bringing no spears, no bows, just metric sensor and, uh, I mean, sorry, no swords and no bows. Just bringing matchlocks and spears. That doesn't make any sense. So I hope you enjoyed this video and good game to my opponent, of course. And thank you for watching. Ciao, ragazzi!